Hello, and welcome back to another Northern Pokemon videos. My name is Professor Joel, and today we'll be looking at the Fall Collector's Tin, which features artwork from Pokemon Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution, the remake of an old movie from like 20 years ago for Pokemon. And in this tin, it's a nice little lunch case, uh, we'll get ourselves some cool promo cards and some other things. And let's take a, back, a look at the back here. The cool thing is this. Armored Mewtwo. Now this armor is not exactly armor per se, but it's more of a suppression system to keep Mewtwo's power levels in check. This is a very cool thing. We also have ourselves the clone Charizard. And yeah, we'll be cracking into this. I ended up picking up two tins. One of them is going to be for my, my collection there, so I'll have myself a Mewtwo and whatnot. And one will be for my wife's collection, because there's two cards she collects. Poliwhirls and Mewtwo's. Without further ado, let's crack into one of these tins. I'll be doing a different tin on a different video, I think. Got myself my knife. This is a gift once. And I crack open the tins. I'm gonna put this one off to the side. Got a little slice in there. Let's have at her. Just gonna pull back the plastic. There we go. Little paper cutout thing, we'll set that aside. Little plastic, we'll set that aside. So let's open this bad boy Change up. Change my angle a little bit there to a lower level. So let's see. Nice little lunch pill. I used to have a lunch pail from the original Mewtwo Strikes Back, and it was a much smaller back in the day. It had most of my energy cards, because we all have tons of energy cards, and about this much of it was energy cards, and about this much of it was hollows, and unfortunately it was given away. And yeah, I lost a lot of nice Pokemon cards there, a lot of gym leader cards with hollows and such. But here we go, we'll be looking inside this tin, and what do we have? Oh, that's beautiful. We're presented with a nice little tray here with some very sick looking cards and artwork here. We have ourselves a Pikachu card up high with Quick Attack and Thunderbolt. Very cool, Ash's Pikachu. We have ourselves a beautiful looking little reprint from the Charizard or Team Up. Very nice looking. And a Armored Mewtwo card with Psychic Raid. It does 130 damage. This Pokemon cannot attack during your next turn. I guess that beautiful armor of it is keeping its power suppressed. Let's see, it has a little flavor text down here on the bottom. Seems to be a little bit blurry there, but it says, Mewtwo was on a rampage, searching for meaning in its existence in this world, when Giovanni suppressed and controlled its powers. Very beautiful looking card. We also get ourselves a really beautiful looking Mew coin. Holy smokes, that is some nice foiling to that. We get ourselves some packs. Get ourselves a Pax of Evolution, Team Up, Sun Moon Guardians Rising, and two Cosmic Eclipse Packs. Okay. We get ourselves some cool little Pikachu, Mewtwo, and Mew pencils here. Very nice. Kind of like a Tron looking uh, artwork on it. Probably be giving away some of these at the League. We have ourselves some cool stickers here of Mew, Pikachu, and Mewtwo. Very nice. And a secondary sheet with Armored Mewtwo and Clone Charizard. Very nice looking. Uh, my wifey had a laptop with a whole bunch of stickers on it. That was how she decorated her laptop back in the day. So we're going to be building her a computer someday. Nice little gaming rig. It's going to have a simple looking case, but we're just going to smother the thing in a whole bunch of stickers just like that. So that's probably where these stickers are going to go someday soon. We have ourselves a nice little notepad here with Pikachu, Mewtwo, and you on it. It's all the same throughout the thing, but you know, very neat. And we get ourselves a mini binder. Nothing too special about these mini binders, they're just a bunch of clear pages inside with some artwork of Mew, Mewtwo, Pikachu, yet again. The back actually looks really neat, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, nice little mini binder. And that's all for the tin, there doesn't seem to be anything else except some plastic. Very nice looking tin. Close that up. And we'll set that off aside. So we ended up getting ourselves some packs from this. I guess we'll start off with the Evolutions pack. It's been a while since I opened up an Evolutions pack. Can't really get too many exciting cards out of Evolutions there. So we'll see what happens to be in this one. Okay, I uh, can't remember how, okay, that's how it goes. So here's a code card for that. And we'll go, I think it was three, then two for the X and Y block. Be nice to find some other old X and Y packs there. Get ourselves a Chubby Pikachu, a Growlithe, a Chop. I need a Ram. Ponyta. A Switch. I need a Reno. Spirit Link. A Reverse Caterpie. And the rare for the pack is a Mewtwo. How appropriate for this opening. 
Uh, yeah, so we set that aside. That's pretty neat. There you go. I'm actually pretty happy about that. My wifey was going for a collection today of Mewtwo cards, and uh, surprisingly enough, we didn't actually have an Evolutions Mewtwo in the set. I also think I have a Theme Deck Holo variant that I'll also be putting in a collection. Okay, there was a nice little team-up pack. Let's see if we get anything neat out of that. It's been about a year since the team-up came out. There's also a yellow, uh, green card, unfortunately, but here you go. There's a code card for that. And we'll go for... Yeah, it's four to the front, not for you. Okay. Start off with a Fighting Energy. A Viridian Forest. Someone at my league needed one of those. Rapidash. An Electro Charger. Squirtle. A Bronzong with Evolutionary Advantage. A Klefki. A Pidgey. Very good card. For its Evolve form, at least. An Amoga. An Alolan Executor. Reverse rare, very nice. And the rare for the pack is a Lapras rare. Okay, very neat. Set that off to the side there. Bye bye, Mewtwo. Cover you up with Lapras there. Got ourselves a Guardians Rising. Very fun pack, very good set. Had a lot of cool things in it. There's a code card. Four to the front. Got ourselves a Fire Energy. A Lone Graveler. Alter of the Sunny, Alter of the Moony, a Wimpod, a Gumi, seems like the focus is a little off, a Wishy Washy with the schooling ability, a Vanilla Light, a Clef Key, a Reverse Absol Rare, very nice, and an Oricorio. Ah, oh, very neat. So we have ourselves two packs of Cosmic Eclipse left. Crack into these. Okay, Code Car goes off to the side for this one. I like to keep the current ones. Sorry for the noise in the backdrop. I have a fan going all of a sudden. I was going to pause for a second there, but I feel like it would be kind of weird to interrupt it. So let's see. We got ourselves a Fighting Energy, a Type Null Reverse, sorry, Type Null Uncommon, a Rotom Uncommon, a Heracross, I love Heracross, a Tokudamaru, an Onix, a Whalmer, a Pipletoad, a Cricutot, a Reverse Rowlet, and the rare for the pack is a regular rare lantern. So nothing too crazy so far. We got one more, one more pack here. So let's see if we can get ourselves some last pack magic. Come on now. Oh, there you go. That one was hefty to rip apart. Holy smokes. Okay, so the sun. Code card. If it's a hollow or better, I'll be giving you the code card. And we can put four to the front. Get ourselves a fairy energy. We get ourselves a Misty and Lower Eye. Let's see. Search your deck for up to free water energy cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. When you play this card, you may discard up to five other cards from your hand. If you do during this turn, your water Pokemon can use their GX attack, even if they already used your GX attack. Ah, oh, very neat. Okay, we get ourselves a Fro, a Dartrix, a Sun Kids, sorry, Sun Kirn, a Cosmog, a Psyduck, a Trap Pinch, an Oddish. A reverse trap pinch, and the rare from the pack is a phony, regular rare. Unfortunately, we didn't really get anything on this first tin. Uh, phony though is a pretty good rare item, or rare card, I should say. It says once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may have your opponent switch their Pokemon, uh, their active one, their bench Pokemon. If you do, discard all cards attached to this Pokemon and put it at the bottom of your deck. You can never deck out. Seems to be a little off centered though. Looks like it's a little bigger on that side. Okay, anyway, it's nothing too too crazy there. So we didn't get nothing too, too crazy. We'll recap here as we got ourselves a Trap Pinch Reverse, a Rowlet Reverse, which is very cute looking, an Absol Rare, an Alolan Executor, a Caterpie, a Phony Regular Rare, a Lantern, or a Corio, Lapras, and a Mewtwo. We also got ourselves a cool little tray of promo cards. He's like, uh, you know what, let's try to get him out of there. They have like a little thing on the top, so I gotta be careful here. Ooh, I don't like how, I'm a little scared about this, guys. Okay, set that down. Ooh, that was a little bent looking. Come on down. The beautiful Full Art Mewtwo armor card. So let's take one more look at those three promo cards. So here we have that Full Art Mewtwo, very nice looking. Look at that cosmic foil in the background. All those little spots there. 
Definitely have to sleeve up that bad boy. Here's ourselves a nice Pikachu card, very cool. And a Charizard card, very nice, that clone Charizard. Thanks for watching my Northern Pokemon videos. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We also have a Discord link in the description bar. Uh, we're trying to build up a little bit of a community on Discord there. Uh, come battle us, can talk about all things Pokemon, show off the things you guys pulled. And yeah, I'll catch you all next time. Professor Joel out. Peace.